Good evening, good evening, it's Tulani Kelvin the tutor. Today we are going to be focusing on physical science for grade 11. We're going to be dealing with physics. Uh, the topic for today is electrostatics. Uh, it's Monday evening. So uh, on this lesson, you're going to learn what is electrostatics. We're going to be dealing with calculations um so electrostatics is the study of static uh positive or negative charges think of example of how you can get a little shock from a scuffing uh your feet on a carpet when wearing a rubber solid shoes this kind of electricity is not flowing unlike for example the electricity in a plug point so we must know the definition of electrostatic, electric field, and, uh, and the electric field strength. So you must also be able to give uh, evidence of the existence of two kinds of electric charges, like charges, repel charges, unlike charges, uh, attract. You know, so those are the things that you are going to be focusing on when we are dealing with the, this topic of electrostatics. So the main thing that you are going to be focusing on on this uh, topic of electrostatic is the law of conservation of charge. Uh, when two charged sphere are brought into contact with each other, electron flow from the sphere with more electrons to the sphere with few electrons. For example, if now we are having a sphere here, um, and this here is having a is having more electrons you, know, you understand and then uh, this here with the blue marker is having less electrons I'm just drawing it with a, a blue marker so what is going to happen is that if they are in contact um, the electrons will flow from the sphere with more electron electrons to the sphere with few electrons meaning that the electrons will move from the green sphere to the small sphere you get the, the, the this uh, conservation of charge so there are some basics that you should know that um the the, the charge let me just say a charge so you must know that the charge, the symbol for charge is going to be represented with Q um, and the symbol for current is I. So um, you must know that uh, the charge is measured in coulombs, so it's going to be C and then the, ch the, the SI unit for, for uh, the current is amps, so you must also know that is measured but it's not for the first time you are dealing with this uh, you've been doing this from grade uh, from grade uh, is it grade 10 and 11 you know so is I guess you are familiar with this uh, with this SI units you know so let's just quickly jump into the the example so here is our first example uh, I just grab a pen and a a, cr a pen and a and a book there or a page uh, where you can just collect your notes. So I'm just going to read the statements. Uh, they say two spheres A and B carry charges of five uh, positive five coulombs as well as uh, negative seven coulombs as represented there. You can see. So we have uh, the sphere A with five, uh, positive five there, and as well as the sphere B with the negative uh, seven there. They are brought in contact and are separated. So the first question, the first question on this uh, statement that we were given, they say, what is the nature of the force between the charges before they are allowed to touch it? that they are allowed to touch what is the nature of the force between the charges before they are allowed 
to touch, they say explain. So uh, the answer for number one, uh, the nature of the force between the charges before they are allowed to touch is attraction. You understand, simple as that is attraction, that's the nature of the forces. So when we proceed to number two, uh, this is the answer for number one. So for number two, they say, um, in which directions are electrons transferred during the contact? Explain um, is an explanation. Again, they need an explanation. So in this case, uh, the electrons will be transferred from sphere A, I mean, from sphere B to sphere A. Um, electrons are transferred from the sphere with the most electrons B in this case to the sphere with the least electrons A. So A is having the least electrons and B is having the most electrons. So they are going to move from A to B. Like I told you uh, earlier in the lesson that um, electrons are transferred from the sphere or move from an a matter with the most electrons to the matter with less e e electrons you understand my point so as we proceed to number three number three they say calculate the total charge in the system so we are going to calculate the total charge in the sy system first of all we are going to be we are going to firstly write the 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 this thing I mean the the formula the correct formula for for calculating the total charge in the system that we are dealing with. So the formula here is the formula uh, for for calculating the total charge for the system. Um, the total charge is equals to um. Q A or Q for sphere A as well as the Q for sphere B plus the Q for sphere B. So in this case, don't make a mistake. Don't make a mistake, guys. What you have to do is to substitute the the values for of the charge. You understand? You are going to start with the first um sphere here. So if, as we look at the charge for, for for sphere A, we are going to just substitute that value with its um charge is going to be five plus five positive five um plus um this is just as it is from the formula and we just substitute that negative seven over here and then we we make sure every time when they say they want the total charge you put the the values with its uh with its signs you understand So from here, what you are going to do is easily calculate that. So it's going to give us um, negative two coulombs. Don't forget to to write your your SI units. They are important. You understand? If you, you don't write the SI units, meaning that you are going to get your answer wrong, or they are just going to mark you. If this um, question was two marks you're going to get one just for substituting and the correct formula but the final answer you don't get anything because you didn't write the full answer so it's important to every time write the SI unit guys don't make that mistake I beg you so let's proceed to number four I'm just going through to write it there at the top there um, number four they say calculate the charge on each sphere when they are separated so um, the charge on each sphere when they are separated. So let's just easily calculate that. We are going to start, uh, firstly, we are going to start by um, writing the formula there. So the formula for calculating the, the charge on each sphere when they are separated is going to be um, Q there on mu each so this is equal to the total uh, the total charge there divided by 2 so the total the total charge we already calculated it in number 3 so 
this is this means that if you got number three wrong meaning that you are going to get number four wrong so this is a follow-up question you understand so you have to make sure that each and everything that you do you do it correct you understand so that you can get your full marks whenever you are given any question in the exam don't forget you are preparing the exam here so let's easily um substitute our values there we have negative two they divided by two is going to give us negative one uh coulombs so that is the question um that is the the solution actually you understand so this is the the new charge there let's proceed to number five number five they say calculate the change in the charge on a and on b so we are going to calculate the change uh, uh, on a and b so as usual you know we just do the we do the you know the formula thing there so the change on charge a is going to is equal to uh the the final charge there as well as the initial charge so the final charge we already calculated it on our previous um question there is going to be negative one um minus you substitute that uh the the charge for initial charge there is going to be plus five and the answer is going to be negative six coulombs so as we proceed with uh the change in let me just write it here the change in charge b um equal to the final charge the minus the initial so we substitute our values there um this one we calculated it um minus minus seven there so we get our answer as positive six coulombs so that was what we were supposed to do as we proceed to the last question uh, guys i hope you are writing these questions somewhere down on your on your i don't know your physical science uh scribbler or something else where you can just write these things because i guess you are going to need them some other day when you will be preparing for your exam so they say calculate the number of electrons transferred from one sphere to another so we are going to calculate the number of electrons that was transferred from this sphere to that sphere from b to a so in this case number six um let me say number of this is number of um electrons e, e there is the presenting the electrons transferred i'm not going to write that in full um is equal to uh the change in the charge of a equal to the electrons transfer there so um you what you one thing that you must know um this thing is a constant this thing is a constant so um q of the electron they equal to you must know this thing but i guess you are provided with it in the formula sheet if you guys not given the just make sure that you know this thing by heart you get what i'm saying right so it's either here we are going to use um charge a or charge b charge b so 
I chose to work with um aid here so I'm just going to substitute the change there um it was uh six and then I just uh substitute with the constant there times so my answer here is three point seven five multiplied by 10 power 19 electrons I'm sorry for uh, such a horrible handwriting um but as long as you understand and you see don't forget anything that you don't understand you can just post it on my on the comments there on my youtube channel or you can post it on facebook is in power skills tutoring as well as on on youtube is in power skills tutoring you know let's proceed with our lesson um as we proceed with coulomb's law um we apply coulomb's law to determine how the electrostatic force between two charges um or to i mean between two charged objects change when they charge on one or both objects change and when the distance between their center changes so we can use we can also use coulomb's law to calculate the electrostatic force between two charges uh the distance between them or the magnitude of the charges so I'm just going to do the example for uh, on how we use Coulomb's law and then we also have um the formula for Coulomb's law let me just show you the formula for Coulomb's law let me use a black marker just to you know something for a change so it's f um k there is the constant um we have q1 q2 as well as r r squared this r squared is the the r squared actually is the the distance between those two forces i um, mean and q1 and q2 are the charges for those spheres or meters anything that you they will give you on the on whatever you know so i'm just going to do an example going to do an example let me sketch it for you so here is the diagram let me just read the, the statement for you so just grab a pen and a book there and write the statement so they say two identical spheres as shown in the diagram there they carry um, equal opposite charges you know they are equal but in opposite the if they are center and um, their center are 30 millimeter apart they are the distance between them is 30 millimeters apart and the electrostatic force between them is 2 comma 6 2 comma 5 6 times 10 to the negative 3 newtons let me just write the this value here so that is the value of the elect e electrostatic force the um you get what i'm saying ne? um so the first question is calculate the magnitude of the charge on each sphere calculate the magnitude of the charge on each sphere so let me show you how to calculate the magnitude of the charge on each sphere so the the question there so let's start by okay we are going to be we are going to use this formula so i guess this one you did copy it so i can just remove it so that i can have a space there so we are given the the electrost the electrostatic force between the two um objects so is two comma f there is two comma uh five six times ten to the power three so um we substitute the value for 
for k there is a constant so k is going to be equal to nine multiplied by ten to the power um nine day this is nine and we multiply by q and by q so the distance the distance here the distance is 30 millimeters so what we are going to do we are going to just uh, convert this to meters our distance should be in meters so if we convert in meters uh, meaning we are going to have a zero comma zero three squared don't forget to put your squared so how did i get the zero comma zero three there um it's easy to convert from millimeters to meters so what you do you can divide by thousand thirty divided by thousand it will give you this answer here so now what we can do we are going to multiply both sides uh, we are going to multiply both sides by um, this value here you get what I'm saying going to multiply okay before I multiply th that value with let me just uh, calculate this thing this this thing you understand this one over here th this value so when I punch it on my calculator I need a serious space here because I don't want to m jump any anything you know uh, I know some of my learners are so if we multiply uh, q by q we are going to get um q squared therefore the answer for the value there is going to be nine times 10 to the power negative 4 so what we am what i'm going to do i'm just going to multiply both sides by 9 by 10 to the negative 4 as well as this side i multiply it with the same value 9 multiplied by 10 to the power negative 4. they say what you do on the left hand side you do on the right hand side or what you do on the right hand side you do on the left hand side so this one is going to cancel with this one so here i'm going to be left with 9 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 day um don't forget that q multiplied by q squared so um it's 9 day let me just punch this value here this values here and get the answer or before i punch that values um i can easily you know what i can just write them as they are here um 9 multiplied by 10 to the negative 4 um let me just do it like this 2 5 6 10 i'm sorry about the handwriting i'm just trying my level best you know so what i'm going to do i'm just going to divide um 9 Oh, sorry. It's, it's just going to say nine multiplied by ten and divide as well as this side. Like I said, what you do on the left or right, you do it on the. You get my point, right? So um, what's going to happen here, um, this one will cancel with this one. I'm going to be left with uh, Q squared. So let me uh, do this whole um, values here. So the answer here is 2 point comma 
5, 6 multiplied by 10 to the power negative 16. So what you can do, what you what you can do to remove the that square, you can introduce the square root. Introduce the square root. Therefore, you will get your answer. This is the square root. You will get your answer as. Our Q there is going to be equal to um one comma six multiplied by ten to the power negative eight. Don't forget to put your SI unit is columns there. So it's easy as that, it's simple guys. I don't think that is going to be difficult for you. Um, if you have any questions, you can post that on my YouTube channel or on my Facebook page. Don't forget it's in Power Skills Tutoring. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel so that you can get the latest um, videos that I upload. Don't forget to like my page so that you can get the latest um, content that I post there. It might be helpful for you or for somebody at home did so just you know just do it <laughs> so that was the that uh, that was how we calculate the magnitude of the charge on each sphere so the second question um the second question just grab a book and a pen the second question is the they say uh, calculate the number of electrons that would flow from the negatively charged sphere to the positively charged sphere if they were brought into contact. So they want the number of electrons. So let's just calculate the number of electrons. Let me remove. So let's calculate the number of electrons. Is number of electrons. So the number of electrons it is equal to the total charge uh, divided by the charge on one electron. So um, the total charge is um, one comma six. We did calculate that um, on the previous question. So it's one point six multiplied by ten to the power negative or to the exponent negative eight or I mean divided by the charge on one electron this one is 1.6 multiplied by 10 to a power 19 I'm used to this power 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 <laughs> okay so as I punch my calculator I get my answer is 1 multiplied by 10 to the exponent 11 electrons so that was the the law of conservation of charge coulomb's law physical science for grade 11 so i will just upload more videos uh, based on this topic um i will also upload uh, more videos on for chemistry life sciences for grade 12 um i believe on the next uh video we're going to be talking about the electric fields around a charged object as well as their properties of of, of those um electric electric fields um so we will see each other on the next video guys um don't forget to follow my facebook pages in power skills tutoring as well as my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is in Power Skills Tutoring. So you can easily follow me there. If you have any questions, just uh, post on my YouTube channel. Uh, you can also post those questions on my, on my page there on Facebook. If you have any questions, just ask on Facebook. You can hit me direct into my inbox on Facebook. I will reply as fast as I can. So don't forget to share my page, my content. Uh, it, there can be somebody there 
who needs help, you know, so maybe I might be helpful on that person. So thank you very much for watching my video. See you on the next lesson.